While there are some big races on this year's ballot, one name sticks out former presidential candidate Mitt Romney. He is running for U.S. Senate against Democrat Jenny Wilson after Senator Orrin Hatch announced that he is retiring. Chief political correspondent Glenn Mills joins us once again in studio with a look at this race. Glenn? So right, our good friend Jason Perry, director of the Hinkley Institute of Politics, nice enough to stick around for this additional segment today. Uh, let's get right into this. This is a fascinating race, another one that is, you know, people really across the country and even the world, as you have experienced, are taking a look yeah. at. Uh, let's talk about the Romney impact. Jenny Wilson went into this race thinking she was going to yeah. go up against Senator Orrin Hatch and thought maybe, you know, after seven terms, Utah voters, yeah. you know, might be up for a change. But it all changed once... Hatch got out and Romney yeah. got in. It's a completely different race for her, really. When she jumped in this, she knew there was a chance that Orrin Hatch might not run again. She had a campaign strategy if he had did, but really uh, since then, everything's been kind of just thrown out there. I think she's doing a good job in a race that's very difficult, but she is not under any illusion that she's taking on uh, a giant in the state of Utah. Uh, there were a number of GOP candidates that were salivating for this position yeah. as well. And the interesting thing is once we saw Romney got in, they all scattered. Yeah. So that he even had that type of impact on his own party. Well, he did. I mean, there's just so much impact he can have. He, he's coming in with sort of celebrity status in the state of Utah. There are people that, you know, that, that have differences of opinion with him on certain issues, but, the, but you really can't deny the fact that Utahns know him. They largely like him. They feel some association to him. Once you have all of those things right there, it's just really about running a campaign where you start trying to connect. And you have experienced personally that people across the world are oh. talking about him. Oh, that's absolutely right. I mean, we talk about, about it a lot in the state of Utah. They're talking about it in Washington, D.C. I've, I've traveled even to Australia recently where ministers of parliament come out and say, hey, we're cheering for Mitt Romney. I mean, he just has that kind of influence, and not just in the United States, but outside because of his time. Okay, let's talk about that influence and how he can go in and fill the shoes, if he were to win tonight, of Senator Orrin Hatch. Because love him or hate him, Senator Orrin Hatch has ascended to powerful positions we've never seen in the state of Utah. Can a guy like Mitt Romney go in and, and you know, just take yeah. over from there? Or are we going to be losing some status? Well, we're going to be losing some, some significant influence with Orrin Hatch leaving. It takes 42 years, it turns out, to be <laughs> President Pro Tem. It takes a long time. Especially if you're from Utah. <laughs> Particularly when you're from Utah. I think it's going to be a long time before we have that kind of influence again. But we are, we are quite used to having a lot of influence. But, and Mitt Romney, if he wins this election uh, tonight, is not going to come in as a normal freshman. That's just the reality. He comes in as kind of freshman plus. He doesn't have to spend the time working the news agencies to try to get his name known or to find some celebrity. He already has it. And I think because of that, he'll find the podiums ready for him. So Utah's other senator who will go to senior senator in Mike Lee, mm -hmm. do they have a good relationship together? Well, they've already talked about how they are, are coordinating with each other. They know each other well from uh, prior political lives. So I think that they're going to get along just fine. I think that in this particular race, though, uh, Mitt Romney's going to come in really using his own brand. We talk about being the junior senator. I don't think he's going to feel like that uh, necessarily based on the kind of opportunities he gets, but the reality is that's what he's going to be, and he's going to spend a lot of time working the, work the rooms. We've seen him speak out uh, pretty harshly against yeah. President Trump. We've also seen him take the side of President Trump. What can we expect from a Senator Romney if he wins this election? I expect it's going to be exactly that same message. He's found out that he doesn't get very far by tying his, 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 his rope to the president or to going after him necessarily either. He really needs to chart his own path. That's really the way here in the state of Utah. I think he's going to go forward with that, with that plan. Something I've seen from this campaign that you don't typically see, he's really focused on down-ticket Republicans. I uh, met with him yesterday. He said he's campaigned with 45 different Republicans mm -hmm. in this race. Why that strategy? Well, it's because of this great insight you already gave. He is going to have influence right, that, right now. If he goes in as a freshman, but he's ready to, to bring money and uh, support to candidates, he becomes immediately important in the Senate. Because he's not just a freshman senator. I'm the, I'm the guy that helps bring some money, helps bring support for all of the party. Okay, we talked about the 4th Congressional District at the top of the show. Yeah. He has been heavily campaigning for Mia Love, appearing in television commercials, out on the street mm -hmm. corner with her, honking and, and waving at potential voters. What impact does he have on that race? Because he won it in 2012 by like 37 points. Well, very popular in that district, uh, Mitt Romney is. And him coming out, supporting, and actually going all in on Mia Love has helped her a lot, particularly in the last couple of weeks as she's been trying to get those numbers up. Real quick, uh, Jenny Wilson, has this been a long term campaign for her? In other words, 
Is she positioning herself for other runs in the future? Mm -hmm. She may be, but the reality is she has also completely preserved her option. She's, she's run this race, and I don't think she's telling anyone that she is under any illusion about how difficult it is. That's perfectly clear. So I think she has run a race that allows her to stay not only relevant, but it's been professional enough and good enough that she could run for something else in the state. Okay, and an opportunity may come sooner than later. It might. All right, thanks so much for your time. I appreciate